we precondition the patient with this regimen, then we um, uh, aphorese them, um, and then we create the vaccine. Um, and while the vaccine is being created, they're being preconditioned with this regimen, and then we vaccinate them intradermally. Uh, and after that, we collect at the end of study, we collect uh, uh, blood, blood samples to, to do some immune monitoring assays. And what we did, we also uh, uh, performed a CT. Um, and by that, for those six patients, we had two patients who had uh, partial response, two patients who had stable disease, and two patients who progressed. Um, and the interesting part is those patients who achieved the clinical benefit, meaning they had uh, partial response or stable disease, also had uh, an anti-tumor immune response, meaning the vaccine actually elicited an immune response in the patient, uh, in the individual patient. So after that now, we wanted to go into a phase two trial, and a, not a phase two, it's a, 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 the second phase, I would say, of a trial. And here um, it was a small trial, compassionate, only to treat three of those patients, or patients who have progressed and still had, um, still had evidence of disease in the first trial. Um, so what we did now is we aphorese those patients, and what we're doing by the aphoresis is we're collecting the vaccine prime T cells, which we basically, um, uh, which we which we mounted when we vaccinated those patients. So when you vaccinate the patients in the in the phase one trial, you elicit an anti-tumor immune response. The T cells become more. Uh, uh, tumor responsive, they would, they would mount an attack on tumors. And then what we do is now we, ca we, we, we um, collect all those T cells, we lymphodeplete the patients, and then we infuse the primed vaccine T cells in the patient again. So we're trying to capitalize on this anti-tumor immune response that we induced in the first phase. And here we treated three patients. One patient who achieved a partial res who achieved a partial response on the in the first study now achieved a complete response, and we were very happy with that. Um, she was a relatively a young patient, and uh, we were and she had uh, an amazing quality of life at that time. Um, the second patient progressed, and the third patient had stable disease, and, and it remained for. Uh, a long time.